What's up, everyone? It's your boy Norn Red 89 here, and I got my Star Wars cup, my Star Wars shirt. You know what time it is. We're here to talk about part one and part two of Obi Wan. I literally just finished them, and of course, we're going to be getting down into some dirty spoilers today. So if you haven't seen them, they're on Disney Plus. What are you doing? Go run out and watch them, and then come back so we could talk about them. Let's do this. Roll it. So part one and part two of Obi-Wan, the CV series, is now on Disney+. Plus. That's where you can check it out. And to get right into it, we start off in our first episode where we kind of see a little flashback, really catching people up just in case if you're not like a hardcore, hardcore Star Wars fan and you've seen all the lead up to where we are now. It kind of gives you a really quick rundown of Obi-Wan, the history, him and Anakin, what happened, Leia, Luke's birth, all that kind of stuff. And then we get right into seeing Obi-Wan. And also we actually see, real quick, I forgot, um, Order 66. We kind of see a group of Jedi, young Jedi. I believe there's like six or seven younglings right there. And they kind of escape. So I think we're going to have a little bit about them going on in the show as well. Maybe not too much, but a little bit about them. And then we kind of see Obi-Wan as he's kind of living just the normal life. He's kind of not really shut himself off from the Force, but he's become basically just a normal man hanging out on Tatooine, having a normal job, you know, living in his little hermit hut and all this kind of stuff, like in the middle of the desert, watching over Luke and Uncle Ben and stuff and everything. Cool to have Joel Egerton back as well as Uncle Ben, so that was amazing and all that kind of stuff. And then we have our Inquisitors. We have the Grand Inquisitor, the second sister, and I forgot who our other one is, the fifth brother. I can't remember who that other one is, but yeah, we have them in here as well. And that's what I love about this TV series is we have this really good dark undertone. It's not like heavy, violent or intense or like action heavy, but it's got a really good undertone of you feel like something bad could happen at any moment. Like they do a really good job of doing that. The director, I believe, is Deborah Chow. She did both these first two episodes, I think. Amazing, amazing work in directing these actors and actresses and all that kind of stuff and really setting a tone for these first two episodes. And then uh, what I didn't expect for real, what I really didn't expect was having Leia as young Leia. And like when I saw her for the first time, when they were leading into that young Leia thing, I literally got goosebumps. Like I was kind of like sitting on the edge of my seat, like in my, in my couch room, just like, what, what, what's happening? Are we really like, this is happening. And yes, we got a lot of stuff of young Leia and they asked this young actress to do a lot of stuff in these first two episodes. And I think she nailed it pretty well. So that was one huge thing that I did not expect is to have Leia as such a big part of this show. And Obi-Wan gets basically pulled out of hiding and has to tr help track her down because she ends up getting kidnapped by these like kind of smuggler type dudes or like, you know, evil, like just gangster type dudes. She ends up getting kidnapped and we end up finding out that it's actually the second sister who had her kidnapped because she ended up finding out about the ties between Leia Organa and Obi-Wan so it, like right away we're leaning into the second sister seems like she's working for Vader like because she's definitely more in tune into trying to find Obi-Wan and not really into finding all the other Jedi like the Inquisitor and the other brother are kind of like fine with finding all the little mini Jedi and extinguishing all of them and stuff but she wants the big fish she wants Obi-Wan Kenobi real quick let's talk about Ewan McGregor the goat of course Obi-Wan he does a really good job in these first two episodes of being just kind of shut off in that first one being like you know he's completely closed himself off he's like not helping people anymore he's like no just tells like this one Jedi guy who comes to ask for help and is like what happened to you you're not who you used to be I need your help and Obi-Wan's like no man just go out into the middle of the desert bury your lightsaber in the desert and walk away like he's just he's completely he's like just walk away the jedi are dead our fight's over kind of thing you know and then seeing in that second episode how he gets pulled back into it in that second episode and has to go help or has to go find leia after she's kidnapped oh man you could right away see how obi-wan ewan mcgregor's able to switch the flip and become kind of that Jedi detective character that we known him to be like an Attack of the Clones and stuff like that. We also have cool cameos from some other awesome actors like Kamel Nanjani's in here and he plays kind of like this little 
this guy who's uh, kind of a crooked dude who's making money off of people pretending to be a Jedi, but helping him get off the planet and stuff like that. And he has a run-in with Obi-Wan Kenobi. So that was a really cool thing. And I think these first two episodes just did a really good job of setting the tone for this TV show. The second sister is badass too. She has this real cool parkour sequence going over the t building rooftops when she's trying to chase and get to Obi-Wan. Like, there's a lot of good stuff, a lot of good direction. I like the cinematography and like I said, the tone is right there. We also got some good stuff from Joel Egerton too as Uncle Ben. He has some really good scenes with Ewan McGregor and the second sister. So there's a lot of good balance and a lot of good stuff for all the characters. And I like the fact that it is clearly focused on Obi-Wan. But we got some cool stuff with the young Leia Organa. I'm not going to be mad at that. But I'm hoping we get some young Luke action as well too. So can't wait to see. This is going to be a very exciting show. Thanks for sticking around with me all. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Because of course we're going to be talking about episode 3, 4. We're going to be going through this whole series as it comes out. So make sure you stay tuned to the channel. And of course let me know in the comments section what did you think of the first two episodes of the Obi-Wan series. I would love to hear from all of you. Have a safe and happy day. Peace out.